All right. So we lost. Uh, I'm not going to try and salvage the last save game uh, with this Monarch's Journey because there's no way of... There's just no way. We're not going to win it. Um, we now have a better idea and understanding what we need to do. So instead of falling victim to the sunk cost fallacy where we try to salvage an unsolvable unsalvageable situation, we'll just try and start over with King Stefan. So let us see. Uh, we put it on Iron Man, of course. Uh, everything else stays as it is so let's start the game and we will do a cloud save and we will do this so our our subject here our tributary will be immediately absorbed by Hungary and Bulgaria is probably going to jump us because I think um, they have a claim on something here Maybe they have a du jour claim on something. Do you have a du jour? Yeah, they have a du jour claim on niche over there. Do I even have du jour claim on anything? Yeah, Belgrade and Ragusa. That's not really anything much. So what can we do to try and not become a vassal of the Byzantines again? Definitely go for theology focus. Set these things here. Try and make good with these guys, so they hate us a little less. Not going to be enough, I'm sure. Fine. Alright, let's find a few better commanders, because I have a feeling that if it comes to war, we will be hard-pressed not to fight. Place all our good commanders or our standard commanders with better commanders. We have two children, and these are really our only hope to find any way to survive our team. Let's see, they don't want an alliance with us. Also, cannot get a betrothal there. Wait, do we have a non-aggression pact with them? Oh, we do. Our wife makes a non-aggression pact with the Byzantines. All right. So can we get a non-aggression pact over here as well? Not even going to go for a matrilineal marriage. Okay, Hungary maybe. None of them. Oh, well, there. Even matrilineal. Okay, we'll take that. That gives us a non-aggression pact with Hungary. Might even give us an alliance, we don't know yet. But let's find some duke or another. Maybe get an alliance close by here. Maybe with Kuman. Old. Maybe just one of your lower lords. He's three, so a six year old would still be fine. There's a non aggression pact and potentially an alliance. Let's try it. I don't think we have all that much time really before bad things start happening. Uh, I think we wish to groom an heir. They don't want an alliance. 
Hungary doesn't want an alliance. That's bad. That is quite bad. We're still looking at a very, very real threat over there in Bulgaria. Who will absolutely come for us because we are weak as hell compared to him. And we have nothing to show for it. Everyone hates us. Or rather, they don't like us enough to get... Yep, and there comes Bulgaria. So we only get a percentage of his troops and income. So he's not going to join us in this. So we have to do it with our vassal levies. And with our mercenaries. And the only way to really get mercenaries right now is to borrow some money from Jews. So we'll try this. And we need something defensive. So the Swiss company would probably be pretty ideal. But they're super expensive to hire and super expensive to maintain. There's something not so expensive to maintain, but also sensible. Crocodile company, but they're terrible. Bulgarian band, that would be funny. I think we have to go with the horses. So we go with the Pesheng band. Or the Alan riders. It doesn't matter, so we'll go with the Alan riders. And we will immediately send troops over to engage as quickly as we can. So maybe we can catch a little bit of troops out there. Probably going to backfire badly. Let's see how it works out. Speed up on more. Just send everyone in there. And see what happens. It's probably going to come for this here. Give him a leader. Oh no. Okay, these 400 are lost to us, pretty much. But it gives here some more time to build up morale. And while I am very much averse to leading troops myself, I will actually do it to get the morale bonus. Oh god, look at that. I can't even catch these out. No way we win this. So we'll lead ourselves to give our troops a morale bonus. Since he is leading also. And our tributary was absorbed. As was to be expected. Who is arriving first? 12th of April, 19th. So we will be there first and he will attack into hills and across a river. But he still beat the hell out of us, I'm pretty sure. Plus he got reinforcements and all 400 were just completely destroyed. So I don't think we really have a chance here. Yeah, there we break. Alright. Let's just surrender. Not really worthwhile doing this. 
No chance for us. None whatsoever. Which makes us extremely weak. And our vassals are probably going to jump us now. Which makes us even weaker. Which is just good stuff. Yeah. I have 122% and it's just this guy. Just our brother alone. I don't think you're supposed to play this without swearing fealty to, to the Byzantines because no one wants an alliance with you. No one who matters anyway. Oh, Bulgaria would like an alliance now, Hungary. Right, thanks. I mean, at least that makes us somewhat safe from our brother. And we could declare a war to claim Nish. They have 8,000. They have 8,000, so we could get that back. Pilgrimage. We'll go to Jerusalem, I think. I'd rather wait and see what this uh, rebellion does. Potential rebellion. See, they, they clump up here. Oh yeah, the people deserve a stone bridge. I shall pay for it. And we become charitable, charitable from it, which is good. We can use more diplomacy so people like us a little bit better. Alright. So we might become a poet, a zealous, or depressed. The mind wonders where it will. Let's see what we become. Nothing. We shall discuss theology with the knights. There's also really nothing. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can't become gregarious. Nope. Didn't work out. About to become back as a pilgrim. I want to wait for these factions to do their thing. Before we go any outside wars. Despite having Hungary on our side. I wonder if we will even be able to maintain a non-aggression pact with the Byzantine Empire. I feel like that's a tall order. Our wife is pregnant, that's good. And one of our commanders has improved significantly. We are really weak. I want to become Catholic, honestly. Really would like to become Catholic. That will probably help with a bunch of things. Well, once we get another child, we can try and uh, pacify our internal enemies. Uh, we could also give him this vassal, which wouldn't really help us much because he would just become stronger. seclude ourselves in meditation can we become oh very good we might lose oh no we are going to lose slothful and we potentially get something good all right we became diligent losing slothful that's good very good
What could we do? What could we do with the little that is given to us? Let's just wait for the pregnancy to be done here, which is very soon, I think. Speed it up a little bit further. All right, another son. That's good. He will also be sent to become learned in the faith. And now I want to get a patrol for going here. So stop this silliness. Ah, we can't. Can I get to patrol with you? But it does not give us a non-aggression pact, why not? Well, this is our sister. Well, wait a minute. his decision what to do with our sister but we will try and secure another alliance a non-aggression pact or something uh, who's your strongest vassal should we go like that Venice is not a good option either Poland, maybe? We could also get an additional duke inside Hungary. Or do they not... might not attach. Let's see. Inja Patrol here. Thing. Just see what we can get through this here. Norway. They're a little bit too far away. Georgian. Also a little bit too precarious for my taste. On French, Norman, Catalan. There are a few Greeks here. Go with this Greek girl. And it gives us an aggression pact with this guy. And potentially an alliance. A weak one, but an alliance nonetheless. There we go. Right, what happened to the faction? This faction went away, why? Okay, so we are not facing any danger from an inside faction anymore. But Hungary is probably going to crusade. Um, how do we become Catholic? That should be our first order of business, really. We could excommunicate our wife, which would give us break the non-aggression pact with them. And it takes all of our piety. If we plot to kill, or we're deceitful anyway, I don't know if we lose this or if we can lose this. Sure. Life can be high almana. Let's just speed along a little bit further. Got a loyal servant who's pretty good at war stuff. So our new marshal, well, our new commander, you will be. Father died. Huh. 
Oh no, our wife is sick. Well, death is inevitable. Played against our religion. What? Is Egypt Orthodox? What? Okay, that's weird. Well, that also means the Byzantines are going to be kind of hard pressed. Can't even afford it. Data's were victorious, well done. Um, okay, we have enough money to repay the Jews, so we shall. Because right now I'm just kind of waiting for time to pass. This is not as we sit around here. Okay, we can request a divorce. Let's do that, and let's find ourselves a good Catholic wife instead. who's of age as well that would be great i mean the norwegian princess would give us norway but that doesn't help italian asa I want someone who's already of age. Let's sort by age. And pick from the midsection here. She's really good. And she's Italian. No. She's really good, but not actually good enough, sadly. Why are you so small? Why are all of you so small? Okay, let's go with the Norwegian princess. And we get another commander loyal servant. Norway obviously does not wish to form an alliance with us. Will secretly convert to Catholic. And we will found a religious cult. And then we can openly adopt our faith. But in this religious cult. Can prepare ground. How do I do that? How do I prepare ground? How does that work? Right click its county shield. Okay. Air ground. Air ground. So we've spent 600 piet devotion. In due time, these beautiful seeds will blossom, so we, we're trying to spread Catholicism at home. Which I think already is seeping in from the north anyway. Okay. Since when do I have an alliance with you? What? Ah. What? Since when do we have an alliance, my man? Okay. 
I will send you my brother's troops. Sound good? I think that sounds fantastic. Ooh, there's an old hermit somewhere in the back country of Rashka who said that he possesses great wisdom as well as razor sharp wit. Some claim he once served in the clergy, others say he was a mercenary captain who decided to put down his arms for good. I shall find this hermit. I never had that. Let's slow down a little bit. Our lovely Norwegian wife is pregnant. If only it was true. With a mule as our only companion, we depart for the hermit. The journey is long and the roads where they exist are all in poor condition. Finally, after reaching the end of the narrow mountain path, a ragged piece of cloth is all that shields the entrance from outside elements. Old man, show yourself! The cloth parts slightly to reveal the face of an old old man. He regards you in silence for a moment with his beady eyes, then disappears behind the cloth again. No solicitors! He shouts. I have traveled too far, old man. I will not be denied. We don't take a no for an answer and enter the cave. We push the curtain aside and enter the dark cave. Deep inside, we find the hermit seated on a cushion of in flickering candlelight. He seems to be in some kind of trance at first, but then he opens an eye and looks at, with, at us with mild annoyance. I thought I said, oh, spit it out then. What do you want? I hope to share in your wisdom. May I stay? After much badgering, the old man finally relents and permits us to stay for a few days. We observe him carefully and learn as much as we can. In the end, his wisdom seems limited to an endless steam of platitudes and maxims. We have memorized many, and at least they will make you seem more learned in the eyes of others. So we gain two learning. It's not half bad. Okay. More people are turning to the Catholic faith. We will commit our mighty army to join you, my dear and very random ally. Perish these blasphemous thoughts. Let's induce him into the Catholic faith and him too. And what will we do? We will talk about ethics and philosophy because he is a learned man. And with him, we will also talk about ethics and philosophy. He didn't really work out and he also didn't really work out. So we spent a whole lot of devotion for nothing sadly look our victorious troops and the sun very good German German Norman Man, Norwegian Italian Genoa Us. Okay, we have a strong faction again. We continue in God's name. Get another alliance there with Genoa. Good. As is tradition, our wife underwent her churching. I'm sure I can calm her down. Wrong faction vanished again. He, he doesn't seem to want to actually be in a faction. He seems quite happy currently. Go collect taxes. Be even happier. Look at our victorious troops out there. Oh, would you look at that? Croatia has created itself. They still have an alliance with you. So how strong are you? 3,500. 
6,000. So I'd rather ally with you over there. Because I have a claim on, on the north there. Rushka gets secret Catholic communi community. What does that give us? Hidden from the world at large. Want an alliance too? Good stuff. Okay. Why can't I declare war? All oh, right, we have our troops raised. Um, so I totally contributed, right? See, you only have 99% war contribution, so I'm definitely here. Our wife has t stopped touching us. Let's confront Slavko. Right? Oh, we should probably... Can we upgrade anything sensible? Really? Okay. So who should we take on first? These guys? Okay, she's an unfaithful harlot. So, we imprison this guy. And we request a divorce from her. And we get ourselves a new marriage. <laughs> um, let's see. Do you have anything interesting? No? Her? Alright. So he already is at war. But only Croatia will join us. So we apparently don't have an alliance anymore, do we? We just kind of... Only when it suits you, huh? I kind of want to attack him because he's, he's not going to get as weak as he is right now anytime soon again. So we have 3,000 and Croatia has 3,900 and he cannot afford any troops whatsoever. I'd rather try this now. Oh, we can also call him in. Lovely. Not here, please. We might have to move our troops back. I don't see enough. I want to see more. Send them here. And we can see him coming now. There are 3,000 coming from over there. Fence guy goes there, flanker goes there. Light foot guy goes here. So he is way closer than this guy. But this is hills and he would cross a river. Now let's not take chances. Oh, it's not. No, let's not take chances. For once, let's not take chances. Data is also secretly Catholic now, which is nice. Let's wait for our allies to join up. Now we shall attack. Oh, 
probably put this guy on the flank. Our flank. And we will lead the center just to get the bonus of morale. We might die and everything, but that's war for you. Right, this time we managed to soundly beat the enemy. Is there... No. <laughs> Is there a siege master in the world? Somewhere. There is one. Old and grizzled, but he will do. Let's see if he can't speed that siege along. Oh look, he's facing a rebellion. I will lead the center again. Excuse me, who are you? Okay, so a duke here attacks us while his liege is fighting with me. So not all of our troops are going to fight in this battle, which is probably bad. Okay. Right, let's fight these real quick. I have uh, our luck here again for a moment. Child needs a focus and he will be focused on this. You will please end your plot. I just want to finish the siege. So we have and so we go battle again. It's looking kind of nice right now. What do we get if we enforce demands? We would get some money out of it. You coolin. Come on, man. I was you at some point in my life. Don't be like that now. Spy master can find the artifact. Let's become close friends with this courtier here. Have to struggle a little bit for the rumored artifact. Right, I'm not entirely sure how to win against Bulgaria. I don't want to fight his rebels, but I know what to do here. So we're going to go there, siege his capital, get some money out of it too. And we'll see if he comes back. Try and retake his stuff. But this should tick up until we win. Unless he comes and takes it. I 
Should be quicker with the siege work than him. Alright, so we get 140 gold out of this and a bunch of prestige. Quite nice. And he can't attack us for another 10 years now and we just won that one too. So we get some prestige and the county of Nish. He is of the empty pockets, he really is. Okay, that worked out pretty good. That was nice. That didn't look like it would work starting out, but uh, it turned out far better than expected. Okay, we are going, never going to make the same mistake again with Primogenitor. We will go for Ultimogenitor where it always should have been. And where it always should be. Right, so... <sighs> Hungary. Jewel claim on Rashka, which is the county there. And we would get both of our allies in, but we can't declare. Why not? Okay, because this one takes a whole lot of prestige and this one costs no prestige. Let's do this as our last act today. Guys, join me again. Uh, we were such a good team before. Yes, we have a new heir. Our youngest son. He doesn't have a wife. Turov. Something in Russia. Let's see if we can't get another duke over here. Maybe up here? King? Yeah, no. Oh, very good. Also want an alliance. But we're not going to call those in. Everyone, please attach. For you. No, I don't want to be your tributary. Then for all our allies. Join us. This war as well. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Defensive leader in the center. We go on the flank. And what is this here? Thanes. Anchor goes there. We do receive reinforcements, so we should win this. Big emphasis on should. Okay, I don't think our reinforcements will arrive in time. We're losing this one. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh, just in time. My goodness. Couldn't have been more in time. If they had timed it. How many troops are you bringing? So these guys go siege there. Okay. Let's see what he has to say about that. There are his troops. We'll take care of them.
That was neat. Yeah, let's meditate a little bit in the middle of a war. Always good to consider your options. And a 10% chance, 20% chance to be temperate. Not bad. Would you look at Bulgaria having a little bit of a trouble there? Who knew? Big bad Bulgaria. Alright, let's finish this one. How much do we get? 508 gold. I will take that, thank you. And a dangerous faction is propping up a tome again. Finish our war with Hungary. Great castle walls here. Maybe build ourselves another castle. I don't feel it yet. Not appropriate to make moves here. He'll come. He'll come toward us. Can't my spy master to work here? I have to set him to work something else. There he is. Let's meet and greet him. We are sick, which is bad. We are no longer sick, which is good. Alright, looks like we've won and wrestled Belgrade into how much devotion do we have? Let's prepare the ground everywhere. We can openly adopt faith without much of an issue. And then our troops. So we hold quite a bit now, which is nice. But none of it is really good, <laughs> which is not so nice. Upgrade everything a little bit. These castle walls can go up everywhere. even afford a border dispute Everyone goes the pious route. And we have become malnourished, which is a trademark of the characters in this monarch's journey. Okay. Now, what we're we going to do still. Let's induct our friends on the council into the council. 
faith as best we can. What am I good at? Probably I have to go by what I'm good at. Um, it has to be relevant to them. Community. Legendary warrior. Uh, don't get anything. Okay, so our patriarch is totally on board. So I think it's time to... Well, once we have the devotion, openly adopt our faith. And a new era begins. We are a devout leader giving us two monthly piety. That's pretty amazing. Um, right, okay. You like us well, usually, no? Like us all that much anymore. Get a new court chaplain going. You go vert around here. And we can get a new commander. Find an actual commander. Not a siege guy, anyone. Anyone who's good. Oh, he's very good. Several who are very good. Should suffice. Capbearer, where is my prince? I need to organize a coronation ceremony. And we're young enough, so being crowned by the Pope still makes sense. The Merry Men of Rashka. My sheriff came to me today looking harried and, and limping slightly. My lord, I have a fear of a band of robbers and poachers calling themselves the Merry Men of Rashka are on the loose in your forest. I have tried to find them, but alas, to no avail. They chased me out of the forest several times. They hit me straight in the buttocks. Sorry, do go on. There is this um, man in tights. It's a movie. I feel like this is referencing this. The Merry Men of Rushka. See. The harassing of a noble woman. The indignant blushing woman stored into my great hall. She told me about the ban of green clad men over Pyrotr. Yeah. They treated her cautiously and even escorted her to the edge of forest when she handed over her jewelry. She enjoyed it. Something must be done. Hundred and fifty gold, that's fine, and it will be extravagant. Everyone comes. Will never be soon enough. We will go with the diplomacy option that we get there. Uh, hear me everyone, and luckily our speech turned out well. We are finally and truly king, crowned by the Pope. And there is a big dangerous faction, but we do have our allies, and there we go. We will not be blackmailed. 
and let us raise our troops instantaneously. Should be leading here. With our men. If we need to lead at all, we should lead it over there. Let's call in friends to help us in some people for the time being. I'll replace them later on for something a little bit more capable. They have zero morale over there, so that's where we will go attack them. Our allies do honor their obligations. We are not calling everyone. Large bands of enemies flock to his banner. We have beaten a piece of his army. We will go beat another piece over here. Perfect. Oh, that's not looking too good. This flank here is... Uh, well, was disconcerting. Yeah, let him attack us now. I'm all for it. Rabble shall have their fun. Three. That is going to turn out a little bit longer than I planned, but uh, I think after the misfortunes of our last attempt at this, we deserve to spend a little bit more time here. Trying to make the very best of it. Do we still have our Siege Master? I think I kicked him out on accident. One of you needs to be replaced by the Siege Master. I am quite sorry. You are way more capable, I understand, but... This job... He's the man for that job. Oh, we could join the Northern Crusade, but it's very far away. Very far away. It's Lithuania. Here. But it would give us some gold and stuff. Well, we'll see where we stand after our little rebellion. Taken care of. Let's tell our dear colorful ally to go hunt the enemy, shall we? War allies in war, colorful guy, go hunt. Apparently we have groomed an heir. New ambition, paragon of virtue. Sounds amazing. it up a tiny bit what is our ally doing i think he kind of overshot his mark oh the celebrations are still going strong giving us money and modifiers all good and we are no longer stressed thanks to god being part of our life oh no we don't have enough troops to Get this done here. The band of highway robbers has become more and more audacious, plundering more and more towns. Okay. Let's give him more men. More than enough soldiers. We 
need our dear ally to actually attach so we can continue the siege a little bit embarrassing I don't think our ally heard us oh now he has We could still tell one of them to go hunt. Let's send the Croatians. Come on, Serbia and Croatia forever. BFFs. Build a bunch of castle towns while we still have the money. Should have upgraded Nish first. Oh, we're done. Please. Stand down our troops. Offer to join him. And we'll send our Belgrade army help him eventually. And here at home, we have to revoke a few titles, which we cannot do right now because we do not have the title revocation thing yet. Alright, I think uh, we did fairly well for the position we're in here and I must say that potentially I was wrong with my assessment that we need to be a vassal of the Byzantine Empire to make this work. It might work through different means as well. We'll just have to wait and see about it. I think I want to absorb a few duchies at some point. Um, yeah, but we'll see about it. Oh no, who was just beaten? The Teutonics were beaten. Ah, they're also not going to win. Look at that opposition. We somehow need to get to them to attach to them. Wait. Oh, we attached. We did it. Now we can contribute to your lovely holy war there. Where you are sadly being slaughtered. But we contributed. Can't say we didn't. Still contributing. <laughs> Alright. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you can live with the fact that I abandoned our first attempt at this um, Monarch's journey. But I feel like... It doesn't really make a lot of sense to try and pressure myself into finishing something that I'm not going to finish or that I don't really want to finish where I feel bad about it. So yeah, we can consolidate all this now once we have the right law, which we will be able to do in just five years. So that's a pretty strong kingdom, I would say, where we hold absolutely every single piece of land. Shouldn't be too bad for us. So I'm looking forward to continuing this. And thank you very much for following me around and joining me. See you then. Thanks. Bye bye.